What is the secret to a happy, lifelong relationship? Can I tell you? Some people think it's, ah, compatibility. You know, there is this young woman, she told me, oh, brother Bo, we're so compatible. You know, my boyfriend and I, we like the same music. Can you believe that? We like the same set of movies. We even like the same restaurants. I mean, I could not believe it. So a lot of people think it's compatibility. Same likes, same dislikes. Is it compatibility? I don't think so. Oh, oh, brother Bo, I know what. Coincidences. Yes, that's the secret. Because brother Bo, we were born in the same month. Oh my gosh, just a few days. We, th yes, yes, we, we were born in, in July, same month, Brother Bo. And, or, or Brother Bo, we, you know, we met when we were kids, actually. Uh-huh. What is this? Queen of Tears? <laughs> K-drama? Because that's usually the theme of, of some, some, some K-drama where the guy and the girl, you know, when they were kids, when they were in high school, they met already. And so, ah, coincidence, fate, you know, we were meant to be together. And my answer is not really. I don't think that's the secret to a happy life of relationship. And so, if it's not, yes, co co compatibility. And if it's not coincidences, let's be practical, Brother Bo. To have a lifelong relationship, to have a happy marriage, it's got to be, let's face it, cash. <laughs> it's, you need cash. You need money, you know, because life is difficult and there will be needs and, and babies are always hungry. And so, you know what? Hey, I'm not going to argue with you that you need some level some level of financial independence if you want to have a relationship and a marriage that grows and that continues over time. Yes. However, after a certain level of financial stability, everything else, you know, will not add to your, how solid your marriage is. It won't. You need a certain level. I repeat, I'm not, I'm not arguing against that. You need a level of financial stability so that, you know, let's face it, 50% of all marital fights are about money. That's the sad thing. That's why I'm telling you, if you want a marriage that is strong, you will still keep an eye on financial stability. You need some level of financial stability to meet your basic needs so that there will be no worries on the finances. However, after that level is reached, not much is added into your relationship. So what is it, Brother Bo? If it is not compatibility, not coincidences, and not cash, what is the secret to a lifelong happy marriage? Let me tell you. It's another C word. It's drum roll, please. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> character. At the end of the day, it's character. It's how faithful you are, how loving and selfless and patient and kind. That, that's it. How committed. Look at your life and who, what is character? Character is who you are when no one is watching. Who are you? Are you somebody who takes responsibility? You've got to marry someone like that. But not only should you marry someone like that, you should be that person as well. In our gospel for today, Jesus talks about marriage and that it, it is, you know, designed to be lifelong. And so let's pray together. Maybe there are some of you, your marriage has failed. And if right now you are in that situation, I will be praying for God to bring comfort and strength in your life. Your marriage may have been over, but your life is not over and God has a plan for you. For you who are married and you're going through some struggles, I'm gonna be praying for that healing and the strength in your marriage. And for others whose marriage are doing well, I'm praying that it becomes even stronger. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Jesus, thank you that right now you're blessing every person according to their need and according to the stage of their relationship. And some, Lord, I pray for healing. Some, Lord, I pray for more strength, the spirit of tenderness and forgiveness. I pray for more selflessness. I pray for more forgiveness in that relationship. Father God, come. I pray that you strengthen our character. I pray that we become more and more like you. Thank you for answering this prayer. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Calling on all parents. If you are interested in homeschooling your child, my friend, almost 20 years ago, I started the Catholic Filipino Academy Homeschool. And since then, we've been able to help thousands of parents homeschool their children and raise them up in the best possible way. Come and join us and unleash your children's potential. Go to this page and find out more about it.